Shalom. I want to start off by saying Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakar Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth and who will well. Peace and salutations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spread in the spirit and sincerity and in truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Quetas of Sayon, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, with another lesson, with another prayer. And Lord willing, this video is edifying. Gone. So, the Passover is coming up next. That's the the holiday, the holy, high holy day that we're going to be doing a solemn assembly and that we're going to anoint ourselves, you know, and that we are going to bless ourselves and that we are going to remember the day that the Israelites were saved from their captivity by the hand of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, which Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasham is in the name of, and Yahushai is the name of the person that everybody ignorant because Jesus. So we were saved from the hand of, of uh, Pharaoh, you know, the oppression of the Pharaoh. And in like manner, we are going to be saved from the oppression of Esau, Edom, in this empire, in this kingdom of his how Bashem Yahushai is making ready to take down this kingdom, you know. And it's no longer going to be said that we are the Israelites that came from the land of Egypt, but it's going to be said that we are the Israelites that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai helped with a strong hand to come out of the captivity out of the land of the north, which is America, you know. That's uh, in the scripture Jeremiah 16 and 15. So, leading up to this day, you know, I was meditating upon certain things. The Spirit had me thinking about the uh, prayers that I had put up already, you know, that Apostle Paul, he went to the neighboring countries to visit the Israelites and to strengthen, strengthen them, you know, and bless them and give them this truth, you know. And when he was there, when he left them, he always left them with a prayer or with a blessing, you know, that he prays that Yahweh Basham Yahushai will strengthen them, that he, they would, that he would comfort them, that he would give them love and peace, you know, strengthen the brotherhood, strengthen the church. So through the Spirit, I started a series where I was going into these these prayers and these blessings that the Apostle uh, John, John the Revelator, was giving them. The Salakia, not John the Revelator, Apostle Paul Salakia, who was giving these other churches. And it's the spirit that's working, man, because now I'm meditating upon the Pasach that is coming up. And what are we going to do in the Pasach? We are going to anoint each other, you see, with the, with the oil, with olive oil, with the anointing oil. It be the oil of your choice, or of your camp choice. And what do we use? We use Numbers 6, verse 24, to anoint the anointing of Israel, you know. But it's a good thing to come in the spirit of anointing one another. Because through the spirit, by watching the video of the elder Manat Zahba, Shalakia, the elder Yashawamba, in this video, I got inspired to make these prayers, man. Because these prayers... As he said, you know, it's good, it's, it's of our culture, it's of our heritage to anoint one another, you know, to uplift one another, to, to ask Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to bless one another. This is to strengthen the church, this is to strengthen the body, you know. So, without further ado, I'm going to let you listen to a part of this clip, what inspired me to do this prayer, to do this video. So... But uh, brothers in the camps should get in the spirit of anointing all right, each other because it's very, very important. It's a very, very powerful part of the body that we cannot neglect. All right, so go ahead. Come. This is James chapter 5, verse 13. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing songs. And we're all afflicted, okay? We're all afflicted, okay? But we're living in a time where we're seeing great miracles, man. That's right. Okay, the house of David being brought back together. That's a miracle, so we're rejoicing. We're merry. Go ahead. Come, verse 14. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church mm -hmm. 
and let them pray over him, mm -hmm. anointing him with oil in the name of our Lord. Right, in the name of our Lord, man. Okay, so this was a big part of our heritage. This is a big part of our culture. Okay, go ahead. Verse 15. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. The prayer of faith shall save the sick. Okay, go ahead. And the Lord shall raise them up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Right, so within the body rests judgment. Okay, and we all, basically, what does it say? Charity covers a multitude of sins. God we God. all have a multitude of sins. So within right. the body, anointing particular brothers, anointing all, each other, all right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, whenever you can, all right, could, could, could be a part of a brother's salvation, man. Mm -hmm. So we can't neglect, all right, this office. All right, so uh, we're going to anoint this brother, uh, Arya Nazar. All right, through the spirit, the brother has uh, been pushing a, a very, very beautiful vibration of faith. All right, uh, a lot of people think that I started the incense movement with the uh, Palo Santo sticks and with the, you know, the resin, which they did it in the old school. It ain't nothing new under the sun. It ain't nothing we just came up with. But it was actually this brother who started that spark. And I... Um, so, as the elder said, you know, we can't neglect that. And through the spirit, I saw this video and it sparked something up in me. So, without further ado, I want to jump into it. This is a very good prayer to anoint one another with. This is the book of First Thessalonians 5, verse 22. When you start anointing the brother, you know, everybody puts his, puts his hand on him, you know, and then you say this prayer. Or everybody just uh, gets some anointing oil on themselves and with your hand you rub it in each other's head, you know, while saying this prayer. This is First Thessalonians 5 verse 22. Abstain from all appearance of evil and the very power of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, your whole, your whole spirit, and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Yahweh Hamashiach. Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. You see? So we can use this prayer to anoint yourself, to anoint a brother, to anoint the camp, you know, and in all unison praying this particular prayer. I carefully put this prayer together and hopefully you could use it. Um, so it starts with First Thessalonians 5 and 22, abstain from all appearance of evil. And then the Lashawan Kodash is Ha Tarachakwa Ma Kao Hadawa Ma La Rai. So the Ha is uh, the and Tarachakwa. Tarachakwa, Tarachak means to keep, and Tarachakwa, and the Wa in the end makes it to his, pursuing uh, to, to his appearance, you know, because that's the next sentence, that's the next word. Ma is from, Kao is all, Adawa Ma is appearance, so keep his appearance, La Rai, is, uh, La is of, to, and Rai is evil. So keep his appearance from all evil, you know. Keep him from all appearance of evil. First Thessalonians 5 verse 23. And the very power of peace sanctify you wholly. And I, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, Salakya. And I pray, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach um, so in the Lashawan Kodash it's Wa Alahaya Ha Shalawam Hawa'a Ya Kodash Atakam Ba Kodasha Shalama Wa Kao Rahakwam Wa Napashkam Wa Hawapkam Yashamar Tamyam Ba Adanaya Wap Salakya Adanaya Adanaya Nawa Yahawashai Ha Mashayah So breaking it down it's Wa 
is earned. Allah Haya is my power. Allah Allah is power and Haya is to me. Ha is of Shalom is peace. Hawa is he. Ya Kwadash is sanctified, is sanctified. Atakam is you. Ba is in. Kwadasha is holiness. Because Kwadash is holy and Kwadasha is holiness. Shalama is holy or completely. Wa is end. Kao is all. Rachakom, Rachakam is uh, your spirit. Wa is end. Napashkam, Napash is soul. And Napashkam is your soul. Wa is end. Yawapkam, Yawap is body. Yawapkam is your body. Yashamar is to be preserved. Tam Yam is innocent or blameless. Ba is in. Bawa A is coming. Adanaya Nawa. Adanaya is Lord. And um, Nawa in the end makes it our Lord. Yahushai is the person that everybody is ignorant because Jesus, you know, is the most high heavenly uh, only begotten Son. Ha is the Mashiach. It's Messiah. And then you have First uh, Thessalonians 5 and 24. Faithful is he that called you who also will do it. And then the last word, Kodash, is Naaman Hawa'a Ha Kwa Wara'a Atakam Ashar Gum Yashaya Salakya Yaisha Come to read again. Naaman is faithful. Awa'a is he. Ha is in. Kawara'a is call. Atakam is you. Ashar is who. Gum is also. And Yaisha is will. Come. So this is an anointing prayer. Uh, you can also use this as a Pasach prayer or a prayer leading up to the Pasach that you can anoint yourselves with, that you can bless your, your camp with. You know, this would be very beautiful to use. And Yaratazah, I'm going to ask the brothers here in GMS Holland if they want to start uh, doing this, you know, to, to strengthen the camp. You know, because... This is a beautiful heritage that we have, and it would be a waste not to do it. You know, we need to strengthen ourselves for the de- for the times to come. Because when Jacob's troubles comes, you know, you hope that everybody has sufficient faith in the camp to to make it. You know, done. So with that, I hope this video is edifying, and I want to say Kalahalal Yamla Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai Ba'asham Rakah Kodash. Shalom, Akim.